the rough and rugged SEC here in the Big Ten. Well, we're talking some respect, and we're talking Maryland. And a chance, perhaps, to climb up Charlie Cream's bracketology. Yeah. <laughs> playing so well lately. Kyrie's been banged up a little bit, so we'll see. Quick turnaround by Pulliam. That's a big bucket, a one-possession game. Their first season, they basically played at a high school. As Walsh Ryan Arena was being renovated. <laughs> they go from that to winning a Big Ten championship. And you just think about, you know, everything that was, that they were not able to experience this year. Nice move to get that bucket in for Burton. Halfway through our second quarter, so a lot has changed in a short period of time. We'll see. It was funny talking to head coach Brenda Freeze about that. It's like, well, what, what exactly do you go in and tell the team? First points for Angel Pass. Reese, now healthy after the fractured foot. Layup inside. Was getting it done defensively, but yeah, it was AM. Their defense, especially on the inside. And, and that's such a great conference, too. It's so, so competitive in the SEC. What a take from Diamond Miller. Give you everything. She's so lengthy. She's got great anticipation on defense and dangerous. Averaging 17.6 rebounds a game. Here's a steal. Veronica Burton leads the country in that category. She's off to the races and swatted away. Who else? Diamond Miller. Or take the lead. Maryland led by as many as nine with two and a half to go in the first half. I think there was a layup to be had. Lauren Satterwhite pulled up a little short. You know I love the mid-range, but that was a, a tough shot for Northwest. You get complacent with just watching somebody with the ball. you got to keep moving, especially against the zone. First three of the afternoon for Maryland, and it comes from Diamond Miller. Sure do. Diamond coming through to play today has her team's uh, scoring there and half of her team steals. Big bucket out of the timeout by Northwestern. Their second triple. ESPN bracketologist in our first half, especially during a slower part of the game. That, that kind of worked out well. I don't know how many interviews <laughs> you and I have done where we've got many. ladies running up and down the floor. Somebody dunks. Somebody goes on a 13-0 run in a minute. Not everybody has, and we understand why, but in Maryland, it's been kind of a different scene in 2021. No doubt about that. That's a great pass inside. We're in the fourth Crazy. quarter. Crazy. Brooke, we Brooke Weisbro, Roy Philpott. We've got eight to play in Evanston, and every time Northwestern seemingly strings together back-to-back -to -back buckets, Diamond Miller has a response on the other end. This unique scenario. Scoring trout at just over two minutes, and that'll stop right there. Three-pointer, the second of the game for the Terrapins. And plenty of time. They, they're going to have to get very, very disciplined on shot selection down the stretch. But they can count on their defense. I know that. Runner off the mark by Sidney Wood. Maryland controls. Diamond Miller, Euro step. Left-handed no finish high off the glass. Oh, my goodness. Northwestern did cut it to a single point in the third quarter. Terps turned it on afterwards. Veronica Burton has a chance for three, so give her 14 points. And one last seed for Veronica Burton is off the mark. Well, Maryland never trailed, despite the fact it was held to just 62 points. A Northwestern, a season-low 50.